It was really through these classes that I had an opportunity to learn firsthand about the difference between the process and the task level work that's occurring at the same time um, within our teams and organizations. Oftentimes we're running so quickly to meet the deadline or the objective that we're solely focused on the task, whereas the process work and how individuals are showing up and contributing, who holds the formal authority versus who has influence, is just as impactful on the work that we're trying to do. The systems perspective enabled me to more thoroughly consider the different factors affecting my organization during times of change. Um, and, what is, and the difference between the espouted issue versus potentially deeper root cause of the situation at hand. I remember being a management consultant and often referring back to my teacher's college course notebooks and um, books that I thought I would never use to refresh my memory on the different components of the system's perspective because oftentimes clients would come to us with one issue such as we need to centralize operations and close down all our field offices um, because they thought the field was underperforming. Whereas when we dug deeper, utilizing the systems perspective, we often found that there were other issues at hand. So the systems perspective was really critical to dig deeper and consider all the factors that might be affecting an issue at hand. My day-to-day -day work for a long time was focused on change management, helping companies move their people and get them on board from a previous way of doing something over to a brand new way of doing something. And without the classes that I took to give me that deep understanding of how people work in groups and how people work within organizations, I would have not been able um, to successfully lead some of those change management programs that I was doing for a number of years. The most valuable takeaway is really about the leadership uh, aspect, uh, the ability um, as a leader uh, to see different perspectives, um, to um, be a more empathetic leader, um, the ability to um, be able to differentiate um, the um, resistors, particularly with change, the resistors versus the supporters. Also the, the ability and the, the importance of establishing that burning platform that you need in order to get the buy-in from your organization. You know, one of, one of the things that I talk about a lot in my work is, is the gap between policy and practice. Um, and one of the things that kind of confounds a lot of people who do advocacy around work life and around paid sick leave and, you know, and, and work family um, policies, you know, there's a certain level of um, impatience with, with companies who are able to apply certain policies, but then the culture is still not changing. Um, so I think that my knowledge and understanding from the program has helped me to help advocates, to help people within organizations understand why certain policies um, might, you know, push, move the needle a little bit, but there's still a lot of organizational culture change that needs to happen in order, in order to cement um, these policies in, in the way that they were intended. So I think it's given me a lot of good insight and background in that way. In short, I will say that this program has increased my self-awareness and my awareness of others. I grew up in Trinidad and Tobago, a twin island in the Caribbean, and the way I take up my social identity as a black woman back home is very different than here in the U.S. Since this program, I've become much more introspective, much more observant, constantly examining my values and beliefs, and I've been encouraged to do so after being exposed to such a diverse group of peers who are unafraid to surface the unspeakable. I've become so much more interested and open to new ideas and perspectives and expanding my way of thinking.